Hi students, this is Mrs. Foy and this is just a quick screencast to get you ready for the Animal Behavior Lab in AP Biology um, and we're going to be using pill bugs and the scientific name for pill bugs, the genus name is Armadillidae and we'll be having some of those in class that we have ordered but we're also going to ask you guys to try to catch some and bring some in using the potato trap and um, I'll explain more about that in class. Your teacher will explain more about that in class. But I just wanted to show you the, um, the basic um, idea of the lab. Um, you're going to be designing your own procedure, and you're going to be to have coming up with your own research question. But we're going to be using these choice chambers. So a choice chamber is just like what you would think. Um, we're going to put our animal subjects in the center here, and then we are going to put... Uh, one side will be control and one side will be some type of stimulus that we want to see um, is going to attract the pill bugs or maybe repel the pill bugs. And you're going to be measuring um, how many pill bugs end up in each um, end of the chamber after a certain amount of time. And then we're going to be doing statistical analysis on this experiment. We're going to be using our chi-square analysis, which we will be learning about. Um, we also have the great large granddaddy size of the animal behavior choice chamber. Same kinds of things. Um, if for some reason you wanted to have a little bit bigger area, then you can use these larger chambers. So hopefully you'll be a little bit excited about doing this lab, but your ticket to be able to participate in this animal behavior lab is you must do the following. This is due before the lab begins. This is your ticket to be able to participate. So the first thing you need to do is write an introduction. And we have some vocabulary words from the animal behavior chapter that we would like for you to include. Make sure you bold those words in your introduction. Write down your idea for your research question. Sorry, that should be question. And then sketch a brief outline for your procedure idea. So that's what you come into class with. And then uh, you will be working with a partner, and so you may have to cooperate um, about how, uh, which research question you want to do, or maybe we'll find somebody in class that had a similar one as you. We'll come up with this. If you have an idea for something really crazy, some type of, um, you know, a lava lamp or something that you want to see if the pill bug is attracted to that. I mean, that's a crazy idea. I was just thinking of something off the top of my head. You might want to bring that in um, to class. So if you want to uh, use a particular type of cereal, for example, um, we, will, we won't have that here. We just have the regular stuff. We have alcohols. We have different acids and bases. Um, we have those kinds of things here. We have different color um, uh, cellophane. Um, so if you want to bring something special, if you have an idea for something special, make sure you bring that to class as well on the day that we do this. So um, anyway, what you guys are going to do after you do the lab is that you're going to be working on a uh, collaborative formal lab report. So you've been working either with your partner or in some cases you may be working in groups of three. So you're going to use Google Docs um, for your formal lab report. you are share it with me. You've got to show me um, or show your teacher all your work for your chi-square analysis. And we do want you to use these vocabulary words up here um, somewhere in your lab report, either in the background research or in the discussion. And um, hopefully you can work or modify your introduction that you already worked on to be able to do the lab and so that you won't have to rewrite too much. So anyway, your formal lab report will include your research question, your hypothesis, and background research. So we're asking for 400 words, two legitimate resources. Use hyperlink references after each sentence that is not your own. Make sure you do not plagiarize. And then your procedure can be bullet statements or numbered steps. You will include your data table um, and, your, um, and your graph. I suppose you'll probably do a bar graph. Um, and then you will um, show us your results and your analysis. Your analysis will include your chi-square analysis, analysis, the statistical tool that you are using for this lab. 
and um, and then you'll have a discussion of your results and errors. So about 400 words for those. You can uh, not have less, but you can have more, but don't go crazy. And um, you will discuss the results in the chi-square analysis, talk about error, use the, use the appropriate animal behavior vocabulary words, um, and then um, show us the references that you used. So um, in this particular example, I was using a group of three people, and I color-coded um, the different uh, person's contribution to the one lab report that you're going to turn as a group. This might be an appropriate division of labor for three people. If you use uh, two people in your group, then you can divide the work accordingly. So hope you have fun with this, and we'll see you in class.